So is growing coffee profitable? Very, 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 very profitable. When you harvest in these four acres, how many kilos of coffee can you get? Um, every one acre you can get, or you know this coffee after removing the body, you just put it in the sunshine, then it dry, so that we take it for grinding the grinding machine. One acre, you can get 25 birds for one season. Maybe how you can cultivate four acres, is that what? That bag. And each bag is a 100 kilos. Yes. Okay. So, how much is a kilo after grinding? One kilo of cassé, the price is not the same. That is the season when you can sell 6,000. At that time, you go when it's 9,000. Now, now it is in 10, 15,000. 15,000 per kilo. Now. I have here brown nuts plantation. It is a half acre. I'm now weeding. But if when I plant other plants like potatoes, coffee plants, like egg plants and other plants. But now I'm still weeding brown nuts. From this half acre of land, how many caveras can you get? Here, I most specially get like five bags of granites. Five bags of granites. Mm -hmm. In terms of money, how much can that be? Every cavera it is 100 kilograms. When we take at where we grind, we sell one kilogram in the price of 4,000 per kilogram. 4,000 per kilogram? Yes. And you can get like five bags? Yes. <laughs> you can do the mathematics. That means it's in millions. Of money? Yes. Hey, when the groundnuts come away, well, we get that money. But you never know because at the time, groundnuts, something which you can leave and you just pray loud because you can get lost at that time you get mash oh it's unpredictable mm. anyway farming is sometimes is unpredictable yes. all right so can we go to where are we going next is it a uh, eggplant garden or uh, coffee we are going coffee okay
I have moved in this garden and I don't think I can finish it because it is too big. How many acres of uh, coffee is this? This garden of coffee is four acres. Four acres. And which type of coffee is this? It is uh, Arabic coffee. Arabica coffee. Okay, so how many times in a year do you do you harvest the coffee? We harvest the coffee two seasons. Two times a year. Yes. So you harvest after every six months. Yes. So when you plant it, how long does it take from have from planting to start harvesting? You see, when you plant, it takes four years. Then after four years. So in total it takes five years. Then each year you harvest twice. Yes. So when you harvest in these four acres, how many kilos of coffee can you get? Every one acre. You can get oh, you know this coffee after removing the other. You just put it in this. Then it dry, so that we take it for grinding in the grinding machine. One acre, you can get 25 bags for one season. Maybe how you can calculate for acres, that one, that bag. And each bag is uh, 100 kilos? Yes. Okay. So, how much is a kilo after grinding? One kilo of cassé, the price is not the same. That is the season when you can sell 6,000. At that time you go when it's 9,000. Now, now it is in 10, 15,000. 15,000 per kilo. Mm, per kilo. Now. I saw here you planted uh, eggplants, commonly known as biringanya, with cassava. And then the other side you planted with uh, uh, soya, also known as soya beans. Why did you do that? I do that because when you plant this eggplant, we spray it. When you spray, Almost you can get all to it for food. Because this medicine we use for spraying is very powerful. That is why I use two foods at a day. Because I will get them all. Oh, so you are, you are doing mixed farming. So that in case eggplant doesn't pay you, cassava is going to be... So you are trying to maximize the land. So how many acres of uh, eggplant do you have here? So you have two acres of eggplant. Yes. At the same time, on the same acre of eggplant, you also have cassava, meaning here alone you have two acres of cassava.
So what advice can you give to those people who want to start farming? I, I, I wouldn't say coffee only because I have seen you plant cassava. I actually saw like 15 bags of, 15, or 15, 20 bags of cassava at home. When you plant this cassava, it fell at me in two ways. First of all, it helped me to weed this coffee several times. That is when you mix coffee with cassava? Yes. Another good thing, it is the food at home. Okay. So what advice can you give to those who want to start farming? What, uh, you, you, I, I see you plant cassava, you plant coffee, you plant banana, you plant eggplant. I also saw some tomatoes. So what is the best catch crop? For sale, according to you? Coffee. Coffee is the best. Yes. Okay. Alright, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to speak to you, taking, uh, leaving your work and taking me through your garden. It has been really a wonderful experience. I really enjoyed it. And I love the spirit you are having. Most people can just enjoy farming. They plant plants like coffee because the coffee when you plant coffee you will gain until you go away in the life of this one until even you are children and even you are grandchildren grandchildren will benefit in this one this plantation oh, you, you... it's a very good plantation so this one coffee can last for how long you just, when it is now come old, you just bring a panga and you cut it down there. Mm. And again, it grow. Oh, like the way they did uh -huh. this one. This one, after again growing this one here, again you will harvest the coffee for a longer time, this one here. You just remove little, little one, then you leave it when they can eat well and they can do what? They can get enough water. Oh, so they, they cut it from here. From and then here. This, this one was able to grow. You remain removing these small ones here. Because when you just leave, it also takes a lot of food for this one here to do what? To gain well. Wow. Thank you so much. I really appreciate so if if someone wants to buy coffee cassava or anything from you how can they reach you I have my telephone number kindly can you read it to us it is 0783 56 33 then 44 okay thank you so much for your time we appreciate